Good morning, this is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. New this morning, Rapid City Police are asking for the public's help in solving an incident in the north central part of the city. Authorities say it happened shortly after 10 o'clock local time Saturday night. Officers were called to the area of Omaha Street and East Boulevard for a person hurt near the road. Police believe the person got into a fight with the driver of a car before being left on the side of the road. If you have any information about the incident, you are asked to call law enforcement. Meanwhile, police are investigating a shots fired call on the west side of Sioux Falls that left an SUV with three bullet holes in the windshield, but no one is hurt. It happened at 4.30 Sunday morning near a mobile home park south of 12th Street. Police say the owner of the SUV is being uncooperative, but officers did find one shell casing at the scene. Right now, police are calling it a reckless discharge of a firearm because they're not sure if the shooter had any intended target. So far, no one has been arrested. We hope to learn more at this morning's police briefing. You can watch it live on Kelloland.com starting at 1030. Sunday morning, Sioux Falls police posted on their Facebook page that they're trying to find 15-year-old Neely Richards and 12-year-old Jamarcus Richards. The department says in the post that the siblings are runaways who left home close to 5th Street and Marion Road. The department then posted about Timothy James Martin, or TJ, Sunday afternoon. The department says he is endangered and a runaway. He is described as thin, standing 5 feet 8 inches tall. He was last seen near North Cliff Avenue, north of Interstate 90. The department says in their post that he, quote, has several health conditions. Now let's get a check of this morning's weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Some rain showers hanging around the area, Scott. Yeah, they will only last uh, probably for the next couple of hours, and then we'll have sunshine for this afternoon as temperatures warm to the 80s. For highs and you know what this will come with a northwest breeze at least 15 to 25 miles per hour and that wind will help bring in drier air it will not be as humid as what we had over the weekend or what we had earlier this morning we have temperatures that are in the 60s and 70s and these numbers will eventually warm to the 80s more details on the Kettle Land live doppler forecast coming up thanks scott Farmers in southeastern Kelloland are feeling the impact of months of severe weather. Adam Iacker farms with his family near Salem. They had damage to grain bins and sheds in May, and his crops were impacted by last week's storm. I think a lot of producers would just like the old classic inch and a half of rain with no wind. We're hoping Mother Nature has it all out of her system uh, after the last two events. If you're a farmer experiencing stress, you can call the Avera Farm and Rural Stress Hotline at 1-800-691-4336. Shipping costs played a major role in the high prices at fireworks stands this year. While some consumers may have been a little surprised by the higher prices, stand owner TJ Cameron says they did their best to explain the current situation. It was definitely a shock for some people. No doubt. I think that they spent the same or a little more because we were up in sales, but definitely they got a little bit less than I would have loved to see them go out the door with. He says the cost of fireworks rose 30 to 40 percent this year due to the shipping costs. A report from South Dakota Newswatch finds inflation is hitting low income residents in South Dakota the hardest. Compared to last year, the national average price of gas has increased by 52 percent. Food went up by 26 percent and rent increased by 8. In South Dakota, food costs have gone up by 12 percent, leading to some to seek help in providing food. You can find this full report on Kelloland.com. There, one Sioux Falls resident discusses how inflation is impacting him. Meanwhile, there's a new top gun in town, and her name is Zoe Dissing. The 15-year-old Hartford girl recently won the national title in BB gun shooting in Arkansas. Zoe scored a 494 out of possible 500 points. She not only captured the national title, but also set a new national scoring record. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott?
All right, good morning, you two. Good morning, Kettleland. The showers will continue to move west to east. You see a couple of heavier showers just to the north of Chamberlain right now, and they are moving to the east slightly, slightly to the southeast. Beersford radar able to pick up on these light rain showers from Wagner through Yankton, Vermilion into western and northwestern Iowa. And it looks like these are coming to an end across southwestern South Dakota. These will eventually give way to sunshine as temperatures are. In the 60s and 70s, we'll warm to the 80s. We'll have that northwest breeze as well, and that northwest wind will help bring in, well, we'll say cooler air because we will not be as hot as what we had yesterday, and drier air too. It will not be as humid as what we had yesterday. Here's our forecast for today with temperatures in the low to middle 80s for afternoon highs. Tonight, the winds will start to die down. We'll have clear skies this evening lasting through the overnight. Temperatures fall close to 60. And for tomorrow, temperatures will hit the 80s to near 90 degrees. Winds from the northwest at 10 to 20. And while you're here online, you could always check the details of the seven day forecast. Have a great day.